hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this 3d logo design into this let's check the intro Decography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial good day guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing great today i want to show you how you can make a 3d logo on your android smartphone using your pc lab and how you can present it on your markup as usual today i want to show you another tricks on how you can go about this for those that is having problem having issue on how to mock up design on their phones one thing is that i will tell you first of all before you can think of converting any markup transforming any design into 3d you need to have 2 gig ram phone upward but truthfully if you want to run any markup successfully you should be able whether it's high version i mean with high uh, mb megabytes or uh, uh, with a uh, very medium megabytes something like around 30 something upward you need to have a phone at least 3 gig ram upward you can use it with the 2 gig ram but it means you must not have anything up to even 500 megabytes on your phone. There should be a free space. That one will allow you to be able to run some iMac app successfully. So without much tech, let's get started. The first thing we are going to do right now, we are going to go to shape. Then we select uh, uh, this particular shape. Just this. Then after selecting it, we are going to just have it increase like this. Click OK. Then you need to rotate. After rotating, you make it this way, but you have to let it look exactly like this. You see the way I rotate it. Then you zoom just as this. Okay, cool. So let's click OK. Then we we'll rotate back to see how it look okay perfect we can let's change the background size for us to be able to see it very well so it's 921 by 1280 and this is this too small let's see adjust uh, let's see 1000 the width Come so good. Then we look at the height whether we can change it to 1500. So we should be able to have something like this. Oh, let's see 1200. Okay, so we can. Coming. Okay, let's have this. Then we reduce the size. Just as perfect as this. So after that, the next thing we're going to do, um, uh, making it to this area, we're going to click here. Then we reduce the size, position it back. But something has uh, happened to it. We need to just drag, just as this, and drag up, just as this okay cool then we continue with the uh, uh, the same process just as this okay cool cool okay so after that the next thing we're going to do let me do this more we reposition to the center then after that we copy then we we'll go to edit Get into the edit opacity to be zero, then our stroke should be something around uh, let's say 15. Okay. 
something around 15 then after that we are going to just make sure everything is actually plumbed then set it to the center okay cool so the next thing we are going to do next is uh we are going to give the lock this then give the middle one different color so give it a black color then we are going to lock it too so right now we are going to uh, do some tricks so we need to first of all go to the text area then we type uh, 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 I am I am then go to the font select uh, acknowledge font we have a font called acknowledge so let's see whether there is acknowledge acknowledge font so it seems like don't okay it's not written in full but if you want to download just download acknowledge when you download it it will show acknowledge acknow that is how you get it but it can't even really work so let's look at other fonts that we can actually use so let's look at the Miriweda. we have a font called Miriweda, and uh, they are just family so we have it like this so we can increase the size of this and see how it look so if this cannot work let's still go and copy then we try latif we call font latif Okay, so this is Latif, but they are more, almost the same thing when you look at it. So they have the same. Uh, I think this should be cool. Don't forget to hit the one. subscribe button and the bell icon. Okay, special shape. So let's go for Latif font. Then we're going to reduce the size. After reducing the size, we are going to bold it. Okay, very cool. So on body need there should be a space in between. So let's just go here. We we'll space it a little. And the space is really much. So let's go to spacing here. So where we space small, then we we'll reduce after spacing. If you can see, then we are going to position it to the center, just as perfect as this. So after doing that, then we we'll go to the right up again where we type design. Okay, you see designs. I am design. So we need to reduce the size very well for it to be able to fit in. So we reduce the size just as this. Then we're going to position it underneath. So you can see NDB space. Then position it here. So that position is very well. So everything is actually plumb, as you can see. So the next thing we're going to do is to just uh, merge everything. We're going to merge, uh, uh, excluding this. So we we'll merge everything. So imagine it, and we're going to uh, just cut it. We need to cut it out. But what we need to do before that, before cutting it out. We, we let's just uh, go to the red color then we have this okay fine so after that we are going to to the color area so the next thing is clicking on this then by clicking the what you need to do is to just uh, give it a different color take it for instance let us know we want to give it a color give it this particular color or give it this plain color so after giving in this the next thing we are going to do is to give the inside the one and inside we give it a, a color too so for instance we give it this color we can make it more darker than this just as this uh, it's cool like this so we are now going to lock the two after locking it, then this is where the rework started. Let's merge it. 
let me it then we reduce the size have it like this okay then we'll position to the center so let's go to radius we are going to position this here we'll position it here then we are going to center it come here we center it so after that we can reduce the little bit then position to the center have it come down a bit just as this then the next thing we are going to do is to cut out all this so we're measuring after measuring we cut it out okay you can see right so we'll leave it we'll go back to circle opacity to be zero then we had a stroke just like 15 or 16. so we're going to position that here So we are giving a different color. So we apply this color. So the next thing we are going to do, we'll go to back to gallery. So we are going to bring uh, this particular frame. So you can see, just as this. We are going to bring this crop it we see whether it can work here because it should not have a background select so position very well perfect perfect so the next thing now we're going to do is to have it safe with a transparent background as you can see save it then we're going to mark up to mark it up perfect now let's head into markup and see how it look Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon.